attention. The International Military Tribunal will now enter. Before the defendants in this case are called upon to make their pleas to the indictment which has been lodged against them and in which they are charged with crimes against peace, war crimes, and crimes against humanity, and of a common plan or conspiracy to commit those crimes, it is the wish of the tribunal that I should make a very brief statement on behalf of the tribunal. This international military tribunal has been established pursuant to the Agreement of London dated the 8th of August 1945 and the Charter of the Tribunal as annexed thereto. And the purpose for which the Tribunal has been established is stated in Article 1 of the Charter to be the just and prompt trial and punishment of the major war criminals of the European Axis. The signatories to the agreement and charter are the government of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, the government of the United States of America, the provisional government of the French Republic, and the government of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. The committee of the chief prosecutors appointed by the four signatories have settled the final designation of the war criminals to be tried by the tribunal and have approved the indictment on which the present defendants stand charged here today. On Thursday the 18th of October 1945 in Berlin the indictment was lodged with the tribunal and a copy of that indictment in the German language has been furnished to each defendant and has been in his possession for more than 30 days. All the defendants are represented by counsel. In almost all cases the counsel appearing for the defendants have been chosen by the defendants themselves. But in cases where counsel could not be obtained, the tribunal has itself selected suitable counsel agreeable to the defendants. The tribunal has heard with great satisfaction of the steps which have been taken by the chief prosecutors to make available to defending counsel the numerous documents upon which the prosecution relies, with the aim of giving to the defendants every possibility for a just defense. The trial which is now about to begin is unique in the history of the jurisprudence of the world and it is of supreme importance to millions of people all over the globe. For these reasons, there is laid upon everybody who takes any part in this trial a solemn responsibility to discharge their duties without fear or favor in accordance with the sacred principles of law and justice. The four signatories, having invoked the judicial process, it is the duty of all concerned to see that the trial in no way departs from those principles and traditions which alone give justice its authority and the place it ought to occupy in the affairs of all civilized states. This trial is a public trial in the fullest sense of those words. 
and I must therefore remind the public that the tribunal will insist upon the complete maintenance of order and decorum and will take the strictest measures to enforce it. It only remains for me to direct in accordance with the provisions of the Charter that the indictment shall now be read. 